let's scroll up and before my V stack, I'm going to say geometry reader. And this will give us access to a variable called, uh, I'm going to call it geometry in. Okay, and we're going to take everything where our V stack is, you can find it here, cut, and I'm going to move it in our geometry reader. So now we have access to this geometry reader. So instead of the width and height, we are going to access the geometry reader. the size width and I'm going to divide this by three because we have three circles on a row and let's give some uh, space for our padding as well so let's say minus 15 so we will have like five points um, space between each and the height is actually going to be exactly the same so I'm going to pass the height alignment we don't really need this so I'm going to get rid of it So now we have our circles. Let's actually change it here a little bit and add opacity of, I don't know, 70%, 60%, depending how you like it. Not from, so let, oh, whoa, whoa. opacity. So, There is, looks like there is a problem with opacity. Let me just quickly run on the device because maybe the preview there doesn't work properly. Let's go to our view. Okay, 0 0.9 works. Okay, it appeared here as well. Let's change it to 0 0.7. It looks better to me at least. So I'm going to keep it this way. And the next thing in our Z stack after our circle is we are going to use just a normal text here, which actually not a text, is going to be an image. And the image we are going to get from our SF symbols. So let's, uh, it's just an X and uh, O indicators. So what we are going to do is say image and I'm going to pass a system name because we are using SF symbols. And uh, let's, for a test, we put all Apple logo. And this should bring on top of our blue circles, Apple logo. Let's command P resume here and hopefully we will get it it should be small but still it's here all right so what i want to do is to make it resizable now it's too big and then let's add some frame and uh, for frame we need width and height well, let's put it 40 points and no alignment is needed And finally, let's put some foreground color of white. Right, so we have nice Apple logos now. So this is going to be our X or O on top of it once we run our application. Um, there is one thing we are going to do here, which is a trick. 
and the reason I'm doing it, I don't know if this will change in uh, once the Xcode uh, proper version is launched and this is an issue with beta, but um, if for example I keep the name here empty, it will obviously not show anything, but once we change it to X or uh, zero for our uh, tic-tac-toe game, it doesn't really work because initial name was uh, empty string. So basically what we want to do here, how our game logic will work is the name of the image is empty and once we click, depending on uh, which user is clicking, we are going to show here X or zero because we want to have empty uh, if it's not clicked yet. So uh, the workaround I found is the default image here is, I'm, I'm using Apple logo you can use any image here and basically we will tell our image that in case if um, the name of the image is Apple logo change the opacity of that image to zero so it's kind of invisible uh, we say opacity and here I am going to say um, if the image name is Apple logo we are going to put it zero otherwise the opacity is going to be one and uh, this will be easier to use once we refactor and put all these things separately which we'll do in our next lecture because our uh, game view is getting really really big now and we don't want to do that we want to keep it nice and short